Hello again. In the last video, we talked about uh, how, how an image is, is put onto a drum in a photocopier. Uh, the drum is the main component of the uh, of the photocopier itself, and will regard it as the main component. And that drum has uh, a selenium coating, which which is charged, and when exposed to light, is discharged. So we have an original here with the letter T in black on it, and I've got it as the negative, of course, because it's easier for me to draw. But uh, that letter T is black. So when that when that image is, is, is projected onto the drum, the black areas uh, are projected as black, and so that no light lands in those areas onto the selenium surface. And the selenium surface, being photoconductive, retains that positive charge. And in areas where the original is, is white, uh, the, the projected image is, is white, and so those areas of the drum are exposed to white light or bright white light and are discharged and become neutral. neutral. So uh, and areas that are grey, of course, retain some positive charge. And that's the basis to photocopying. Now, how do we apply toner to the drum? And that's the that's the process that we want to do next. We want to put some toner on that on that positive charge. So there's another roller. There's a series of rollers, of course. There's another roller which is not curved. Uh, that, that's actually a terrible roller. And this is magnetic. And around that roller we have toner which is like a powder. And inside that toner or in the in the powder is also iron particles. And the iron particles are much larger than the toner particles. So I'll just draw uh, an iron particle here. And I haven't got, uh, I've got an orange. So this is our iron. And that iron has a positive charge to it. And the toner, I can't do it as black, I'll do it as white, is attracted to that. Okay, so those guys are toner. And the orange is iron. Iron positive charge, toner negative charge. So the toner is attracted to the iron, the iron is attracted to the magnetic roller, and, and the magnetic roller, if you've ever opened one up uh, very carefully, of course, because the powder can very easily be put into the atmosphere and, and you can get it all over yourself, but uh, the, the, the toner uh, sticks to this, these iron particles and, and hence sticks to the roller. This um, this magnetic roller is very close to the main drum, and so I'll do them. I'll draw them in profile here. I think that's the easiest way to do it. So we have our magnetic roller and our drum, and they roll together. And so where the areas on the drum are positive. The negative toner is attracted to those areas. Okay, so we, what we're doing is we're depositing, or the, the photocopier itself is depositing toner onto those charged areas, which is which is our black area from the original diagram. Remember, um, that our black area is is from our original is our positive charged area, positively charged area, and all of the areas that are neutral, of course, don't attract any toner. So. Uh, we essentially have toner landing in in uh, and forming a letter T that we can see on the drum. Uh, any grey areas, of course, will attract some toner, not not as much, but the the very black areas will attract the most toner. And and this happens because the the selenium on the drum is more positively charged than the iron. Okay, so that has a large positive charge. And the iron has a, a small positive charge, so that the toner is attracted more electrostatically attracted 
to the to the selenium on the drum. Uh, then we feed in our paper, the paper that we're copying to. So um, uh, this is all one unit, but I'm drawing it as separate units. Um, so that's our that's our drum. Again, that was our drum there. And we have our paper come in through a series of rubber rollers. This is our paper. And underneath the paper, okay, so this is this is the direction actually, I'll do that in white. It's going in this direction here. The drum is rolling with it, the paper is being pushed by rubber rollers elsewhere. Uh, we have another corona, we call that the transfer corona. Wire. And, and that has a very large positive charge. And so that puts positive charge onto our paper. It makes our paper very, very uh, electrostatically uh, charged. And it's more electrostatically charged positively than the, than the, than the selenium on the drum. So now those toner particles are attracted to the paper. So they go down, I hope this doesn't get too messy, they go down to the paper. And of course they're going down on the paper in the areas where the drum was coated only. We need to discharge that, uh, that paper so we have a, 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 a separation corona. And, and that's that's negatively charged. And and as the paper moves through, uh, this separation corona neutralizes the charge that the paper has. So now we have uh, we have we have toner on our paper uh, where the drum was coated, and of course that's our letter T. Then the paper moves through, still going this way. I don't want it blue. I'll keep it white. So we have our paper moving through still, and we have some other rollers, and those rollers are actually touching the paper. This is this is a hot roller, and this is called a pressure roller. And and they squeeze the paper through. This hot roller heats that toner. So there's toner in the areas where we've got our letter T and heats it and embeds it into the paper. And so thus at, at this point, the paper is, uh, is, is printed on. The toner is, uh, is, it, has, uh, it reacts to the heat and, and kind of melts and melts into the paper. And then uh, the final thing that happens uh, is we have our drum again, and there's a there's a rubber scraper. I'll do it in green. which scrapes off any excess toner. and drops it into the waste toner tray. Uh, scrapes it clean for the next uh, for the next image to be to be put onto the drum, and this all happens very quickly. If you used a photocopier these days, they uh, uh, some of the best photocopiers. I, I don't know how many pages per minute, but it's a lot uh, in black that they can do. Um, uh, many many pages per minute. So <clears throat> that's essentially how a photocopier works. A laser printer, just as a uh, just just to say how different they are, uh, has exactly the same process goes on. We have a drum that's electrostatically charged that's exposed to light uh, in order for the selenium surface to, to become discharged, um, except in a laser printer, a laser does this. 
and um, it does it does it very very quickly. Um, the laser scans um, 300, uh, 300 times per inch, uh, up to 1,200 times per inch, or something like that. Um, laser printers are, are, are quite are quite uh, fast, uh, pro probably as fast as photocopiers, as the best photocopiers. The only thing with those is that they uh, they produce because of the energy that they use. They produce a lot of uh, ozone, and uh, and that's not good for our atmosphere. Uh, it contributes to smog. So uh, I think that's all I want to say about that. Uh, thanks for watching.